Peter Michael Winery, California, uh, based in Sonoma, but with, uh, with plans now uh, currently to expand to Napa. Uh, we had a fabulous lunch at Grissini, and I'm just asking a few questions about uh, how you see your wines represented here in Hong Kong, and what brings you to Hong Kong right now in this particular current market and situation? So, uh, we've been established as a winery for um, like some 25 years, we, uh, our first vintage was 1987, and, uh, and we, we have a good um, fan base and custom, customer base in the US, which is a huge market, and still a growing market in, in, in terms of fine wine. Um, and, uh, but we're, so we're very well known there, we're also very well known in parts of Europe where we come from, like we live in the UK, um, and spend about three months a year at the winery. Um, but one of the things that uh, I became aware of uh, a few years ago was that, that outside of those er territories we were really well known except amongst real connoisseurs mm -hmm. and, um, and so we set about how do we get onto the great wines of, of the world and sit alongside the other great wines of the world mm -hmm. uh, and Asia is, has become uh, very very important for that and Hong Kong in particular is um, is the gateway to, to Asia. And how do you see in the next five to ten years um, you know, Peter Michael and, and your portfolio of wines um, expanding and growing specifically in the Asian market, especially in comparison to um, your traditional export markets like Europe where you already have a very strong presence? It, it would be a little like Europe in, in that we have, we, it's, it's a small amount of our, our output. Okay. Uh, so we you are, never we see are, it being bigger. Um, we will uh, we will take a, a long we take a long term view to these things. So we, we, we want to to grow the market steadily, and um, and as those markets also themselves uh, mature and, and grow themselves, so so we will within them. We're, we are a uh, a boutique winery. Um, we make small production of each small amount of each of our wines. Few thousand cases. Few thousand cases maximum. Um, total production is sixteen thousand. So and we're servicing the U.S. market. It's our home market, uh, so um, it's uh, spread very thinly amongst everybody. But we'd like wine connoisseurs and wine fans everywhere in the world to be able to get to meet it and drink it and know it. So that's the if you could just summarize and describe your wines as uh, as to maybe the top two or three reasons why it's unique. We when we arrived in California, we took the approach. We, uh, we took our, our European knowledge and applied it to the California market, and this is, you've got to bear in mind, although that's widely known today, and, and uh, but in those days it, well, it was pretty rare, so that included hillside vineyards, um, limited, limited production, very much handmade wine. Um, do you have irrigation? Yes, yes, yes we do. You find that necessary? No. In California, uh, yes. most people have irrigation, certainly on a mountainside. Yes, and uh, so we do, and we have a wonderful creek that runs through our property as well. So we water, we have plenty of water, and, and uh, California gets actually as much rain as the UK, but it just happens in a very concentrated period of time. So uh, we capture that as well, and uh, it's, that's a very important aspect. Yes, yes, we do. But our, our wine is um, one of the unique aspects of it is that we are making uh, really the best um, Chardonnay, which is a Bourgogne varietal. On the same estate, right next door to uh, where we're making um, the best um, Cabernet Sauvignon blend, and Sauvignon Blanc blend, blend Sauvignon, so Bordeaux, yes. the Bordeaux style wine, right next to each other. And um, I don't know any other property. I'd love to know another property in the world that does that. Uh, uh, it's, it's challenging, but it's, uh, it's, it's it makes it a very unique site. Mm -hmm. And I think our wines have uh, they um, they are expressions of those varietals. Um, as they should be, uh, but with all all the um, all the all the, the level and expression of California as well. Yes, so, yes. Uh, yes. I, I did find it to be a very restrained uh, style compared to many other Californians that you see, especially the Chardonnay. Uh, you had all the ripeness and all the elements uh, at the same time. You had a lot of minerality and mm -hmm. a great expression to the wine, as you said. Yes. And that, that's an important point, which, uh, yes, is they are terroir-specific wines. Mm -hmm. 
wines. Mm. So each each wine is a single comes from a single vineyard. Yes. Um, so that's yes. Great. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.